we're going to um, learn how to add a cutout image to one of our digital backdrops. Um, I want to concentrate on showing you guys how to um, add tone to it so that it actually looks like it um, belongs in the background and also just to add some shadows. So we're going to get started. Um, I've got my cutout girl over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to drag her over into the template. And we'll want to make sure that that is just above this layer that says add your image here. Okay. So now we can move her down, um, put her where we like her. I think that's a pretty good size, so I'm not going to mess with the size too much there. Um, one thing you will notice, though, is she really, we really need to add tone to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer just above. Okay. And this is kind of the trick here for, um, for people on a Windows computer. You'll want to hit your Control and Alt key. And you'll come over here. Whoops, there we go. And you're going to want to choose Merge Visible. Now you can see that what it did is it took a snapshot of the entire image right here. Next, you're going to go up under Select. I'm sorry. Um, here we go, Filter. Blur. And we want to average this. Okay, so it's going to take an average of that one layer. And this is going to give you your tone. So what I like to do is set it to soft light. Okay, and you can see how that changed a bit. Now, we don't want to affect the background. We want only to affect her. So I'm going to clip this to her. Okay, so right click, create a clipping mask. And now you can see when we turn it on and off, it's only affecting her and not the background. Right, and then you can play with, um, you know, how strong you want it to be. I think right about 71% is pretty good. Okay, um, next, uh, we'll come up here, and we're going to do a little dodging and burning. Like you can see a little bit around her hair. A little bright in there. I'm going to darken that up a little bit. So I'm going to add another layer. We're also going to clip this layer to the one below it. So right click, create clipping mask. We're going to fill this with 50% gray. Okay, you can choose that from your drop down menu here. All right, and we're going to set this to overlay. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to come get your burn tool. This will darken things up for us. So I want to sort of concentrate on the highlights. So if I come up here, the range that we want to affect is going to be highlights. I've got my um, brush set at 20% exposure. We'll start with that and we'll see. And we're just going to kind of touch the edges here. See if I can get those mid tones so a little bit here. Again, just just real light light. So you can see if I turn that layer off, just by doing that little um, burning around the edges, it really really helps to make her you know look embedded into this. So the last thing we will do is create our shadows. So we'll click on the shadow layer here. And I'm going to come get a brush, a soft black brush. So here's my foreground layer. It's black. Okay. And we've got a soft brush here. Um, you can start with your opacity around 60. That's fine. So what I'm going to do now is we want to look at the way that the light is heading her. So you can see that the light is coming on the left here. So what we'll want to do is just come in just very lightly. Make my brush a little smaller. Just very lightly come in and just start adding some ground shadows. 
And what I like to do um, often is refer to the original image so I can actually see how those shadows were being cast. Um, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to show you. Let's just right click and disable this layer mask. So you can see where her shadows were, okay? That's where we're going to just concentrate on putting those in. So we've got sort of a long one here and some short, sharper ones here. Okay. Make my brush a little smaller. Make kind of a hard one here. And I also uh, want to put a little bit on this um, on the wall too. I'll kind of cast that. Okay. Um, and the very last thing we're going to do here is we're going to turn on some lights. Um, I think the left light would look fantastic. That's the way that the lighting is um, shining on her, so that makes sense. Um, and, and you can play around with these lights. You know, there's um, like there's a top top left corner light there. There's all sorts of lights you could use. That's just the top coming from the top. But um, I'm going to stick with this left light here, and. You can change the opacity as well. If you think that's too much, you can bring it down. Um, and you also have the option of changing, um, changing your layer modes. So if you decide maybe you wanted it to be hard light, um, which here doesn't make a lot of sense. But you can see how you can just go and you can change your, your layer modes and how it will affect your composition. So that is pretty much it. That is how we embed a cutout subject into one of our digital backdrops. I hope that you found this useful. And we'll, be, we'll meet back here next Friday for another webinar. Um, if you want to send in any questions, feel free. Otherwise, we will see you guys next week. And I will take any questions on Facebook as well. All right. Thanks, guys.